I'm Colleen Prinz. I'm 44 years old. I've lived here in Wisconsin for 18 years. Kids went to Hershey Park last June of 2011, and I came back and I had this condition on both of my feet. I assumed it was some kind of athlete's foot that I had picked up from walking barefoot in the park. And I tried every over-the-counter medication that I could get my hands on to treat it myself until one night it got very, very bad. The blisters were just multiplying. I said, I just cannot go another night like this. I went to the ER and that's when I was misdiagnosed and they decided to put me on a sulfur-based antibiotic, you know, under the assumption that it was a staph infection that I had actually gotten. The myoxoma, the tumor, had actually started to break away from my heart and what was causing the blisters it was actually parts of the tumor that they call embolisms disbanding itself, getting ready to break away from the heart entirely. And um, I was actually told that once that happened, I would have 20 minutes to live. Cardiac myxomas make up 30% of all atrial tumors. Cardiac myxomas are classified as one of the types of rare atrial tumors in the heart. What are the symptoms? The symptoms are palpitations, chest pain, and also apnea. Is it preventable? No, it's a tumor. Did you read that paper on cardiac myxomas and its manifestation on the central nervous system? The gamma. Well, the, cent the central nervous system is composed of several elements, and the central nervous system splits into six branches, which is the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. And the peripheral nervous system breaks up into the autonomic and somatic nervous system, the autonomic nervous system breaks into the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. And all these work together to relay messages from the outside world into the body as long as with internal components and maintain homeostasis. Well, what does this have to do with cardiac myxomas? Well, I mean, there has been several cases in other parts of the world where children and uh, middle-aged men and also even older men have been getting central nervous system symptoms like hemiplasia, microbleeds, uh, sometimes it could be quadriplasia. So all these, all these myxomas are having an effect on the CNS and doctors can't find out why. What I think is that the tumor erodes into the pulmonary artery or into the aorta and that can cause an embolus, leading to all sorts of clots around the brain, maybe in some parts that control movement. Yeah. What are possible treatments for the central nervous system after the cardiac myxomas manifestations? And what other factors can play a role in cardiac myxoma manifestation? Is it possible for the cardiac myxoma to manifest another part of the body? Did you read that paper on cardiac myxoma? <laughs> <laughs> Three. Did you read that paper on cardiac myxomas and <laughs> My bracelet. My bracelet. Emmy. Oh my bracelets! Emmy. My bracelets. It's okay, you have two. You have two. <laughs>